What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FC24 video. EA have given the re-up for the 88 plus icon player pick. We're going to open a whole bunch of those today and hopefully get ourselves some icons that can improve teams like that because that guy's team is ridiculous and yeah, there's not, not many icons that are going to be able to benefit him. But hey, you, you can only try, right? You can only try. Um, so if you guys are enjoying the content and you want to drop a thumbs up, it would be very much appreciated. And if you are new here, feel free to subscribe. And hopefully we can see a healthy amount of very good icons today. Oh, that Greaves is decent. Yeah, I'd be taking him as well. If, if you're a whole fan, obviously. And uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we'll get ourselves a nice big icon. Just give us like a few one mil plus icons. Miroslav closes as a netty and loud drop. Close is okay. The other loud drop would be better. Um, how much is this SBC? Yeah, close is like 200k ish. Hey, that Loic Bade is getting downvoted massively. I don't get it. This is about 300k for this SBC. So that's what we're looking at as the bare minimum for a player back to make it worthwhile. Nesta Van Persie Poyo. Thunderstruck Nesta makes me feel like that's all right, to be fair. He's one of those players that's like, he's not pretty. He's not popular because of that pace and that passing, that dribbling, and the two-star, three-star, and the lack of play styles. But he can defend, man, you know? So you don't mind it. He is actually worth about 300,000 coins. Um... And the community... Oh, that's unfortunate, isn't it? Because that Muller's all right. And the community upvoted massively. All right. Ooh, Neymar and Mbappe up front there. Combination you don't see much these days, isn't it? Used to be the only combination you'd see back in the day. What do we got? Nesta, Nedved, and Best. Oh, if you've got Best SBC, which I don't... I, I think you did, actually, didn't you, in a cam spot. George Best is worth 455,000 coins. And so is the best option here however nedved is not only the highest rated but also best has got an sbc um so i would be taking nesta here i definitely wouldn't be taking that nedved oh no what is my man gonna take he took nesta fair play mate fair play i respect it greatly eternal rogue that is such a sweaty team What's he got? Nesta, Komen, and Schweinsteiger. We have had Nesta one way or another in basically every pick so far. That was the bad version of Nesta. Right, we've got the 88 plus based or were icons. Go on, let's get a beast. Lam, Loudrop, Closer. Now, Philip Lam's other card, his team of the year version is genuinely phenomenal. Hence the reason why it's 1.2 million coins. That Lau drop, I don't know how much he is, but he is very good in-game. Okay, he, he he's a decent price. He's a decent price. He's, he is worth less than the SBC itself, but I actually see a lot of people use him. He's decent. Come on, Cell. Let's get a first beast icon. Okay. Eto's good. Eto's good. He is worth a lot. He is good in game. He doesn't have any other icons outside of this one either, which is uh, makes it interesting. He's half a million coins. That's decent. And it, like, I actually just think he's good in game. Four star, four star, high low work rates is very, very tidy for him. That is a, that is a dub. I agree. Alex Manu 2 What are we looking at? Our best Yashin, Thunderstruck Cafu, Thunderstruck Casillas. On the bench, Garincha and Eusebio. Holy moly. And then SBCs beyond that. That's a mad team, that is. Oh, he's got some player picks too. Cheeky Kalor Navas. Mary Herbs saves a pen. Mary Herbs saves again. Here we go. Wow. Uh, 9-9 defending is good, isn't it, I suppose? He's gone for fodder. He didn't care. He didn't care. He just went for the fodder. I don't blame you, to be fair. I don't blame you. 
think we're double play styles and you start towards power curve. Yeah, it is. As I say, what I expect now is I expect every single card to get released that's a promo card or a special card to have at least one play style now, maybe two. Um, I also expect um, Evos to now start allowing one play style plus as standard in the Evo. Javi, Abili, and Gloza. Hey, that's one of those ones where you could take all three of those and still be like, well... Javi's probably the best because we're starting to record. I, I think we're even moving into a new gameplay meta now as well. Now that Travellers have gone specifically and cutbacks have been nerfed a bit, I think we are starting to see passing play styles and passing broken game mechanics to be a little bit more um, OP. So I think someone like Javi could actually be really useful in the game right now. Every single one of my attackers have had Tiki Taka for two months. So underrated. And it's, it's something that uh, Dave said in the chat the other day. Ooh. Damn, man, that's too bad. That Prince is all right, but they're not worth anything, those icons. They're high rated, but Burkamp's nice. He's, he's actually good in game, Burkamp, as well. Um, what's his play styles? What play styles does Burkamp have? So if somebody has actually figured out like a new way, or not even a new way, but just has their own way of playing with their own play styles and things like that, probably really good. Well, this guy had the 98 rated Evo. Burkamp does have Tiki Taka. Yeah, interesting. Very interesting. So, so, so many more mechanics because of Playstyle Plus. Absolutely. Whip Pass Head is a great way to play. Long Ball Pass Plus to... Uh... See, if that's the better version of Raul, that's a massive dub. Yeah, Long Ball Pass Plus to Acrobatic Plus. I reckon. Ping Pass Plus, I think, is brilliant. I've been using that to uh, Joshua Kimmich, and I think he's very, very good. Why do people like Ping Pass Plus? Because first... Ooh. Stoichkov's all right, isn't he? First of all, Ping Pass Plus is really good because the pass is literally like, fired at the player rapidly. Um, and it's, it's hyper accurate. But also, Ping Pass Plus means that the person receiving the ball, it's almost as if they've got first touch plus. Like they don't, they like they won't like miscontrol the ball. They'll just it will just stick to them. Um, which which player are you taking, my man? I'm going with Stoichkov here personally. I really like his pace shooting and dribbling combination. He's got decent passing and physical too. It's a shame about the skill with weak foot combination, but he's good. He's also gone with Stoichkov. Fair enough. Fair enough. I respect that. All right. Oh, this guy's got Pushkas and Roger. That Rodri is. See, that, that's the thing as well about Team of the Year players and why they're so far ahead of everything else at the moment is because not only do they have two playstyle pluses, that's a shame. Not only do they have two playstyle pluses, they've got insane playstyles as well and insanely highly rated stats. You might even want to take Carlos Alberto still, man, because he's 91 rated. Even though you got one. Maybe the one you got you purchased. Who purchases cards? <laughs> Does anyone here actually purchase a Carlos Alberto? Could you imagine if it was tradable? That would have been nice. Unlucky Healy. I mean, that's lucky and unlucky at the same time, isn't it? It's like that, uh, that catch-22 there. Emerald H. Bappe. Messi. Whoa. Cruyff. Tellas. Best. Vardiol. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Look at that. That That is, a st that is why. See that team there, right? That is why we now need to start having at least one Playstar Plus on every player that's released going forwards, if not two, because... Let's go Yako Kivior. Because that team that he's got there is like a generally standard team at the moment. What are you going for there? I'm probably taking Zanetti. <laughs> it didn't matter, did it? He didn't care. He was doing, doing a roulette on it. Here we go. Here we go. Dom, Burkamp, Blanc. Go with Dennis Burkamp there, don't we? For that rating, for that fodder. Or we go with Philippe Lahm to use him. Who knows? Ah, Dennis Burkamp for the fodder. All right, come on. <coughs> Thanks, Dents, pal. I appreciate it, bro. Let's rip it and ship it, buddy. Come on, big card, big card. Do you know what? Van der Sar isn't actually that bad. He's still... Even now, one of the most broken goalkeepers in the game. Maybe you're going for fodder. I would personally take Van der Sar here. 
Sour's still got the SBC, so if you was that desperate for Sour, I would go and put all my resources into the SBC to get her 93. I'd take Van der Sar, the most usable, but you do you. Don't let me influence your decision. You pick who you want, not who I want. Nice. GG's. Sour's, Sour's decent. Sour is decent. I mean, this is like a standard look as well, because you've got Messi you got lucky to get, Kante SBC, Kivio Easy, Maldini SBC, Saliba SBC, Sour SBC, Henri SBC, Schmeichel SBC. That is mostly an SBC team with a little sprinkle of luck for a few other players. And yet it's an insane team. An insane team, isn't it? Now drop Van Nistelrooy closer. Miroslav closer. Miroslav further away. <laughs> oh. Let's go. The last one. Or a dad joke. Thanks, mate. Oh, all right. Oh, that's nice. Garincha. I tell you what, I didn't actually enjoy him when I had him. I put him into an SBC, would you believe? I know he's worth a lot. Yeah, worth like 700,000-ish coins. But I honestly did not like him at all. I didn't like him at all. I thought he was pretty poor. Maybe it was because I was bad at the game. Maybe it's because I am bad at the game. And Baston Casillas. I'll tell you something as well about Ferdinand. I thought for Ferdinand, Ferdinand historically in FC24, or sorry, in FIFA games, should I say, has been amazing. He's been one of the best. Even his like old baby one that was like, what was it, like 86 rated or something, was always insane, insane, right? I got Ferdinand out of a icon player pick as well myself, and I thought he was absolutely woeful. Like, really heavy. Really like clunky, can't pass, dribbling is terrible, didn't like him at all. Did not like him at all. Even with Anticipate Plus, I still didn't like him. Oh, this. Oh. Oh, you got four player picks back for compensation? Why did I only get two? I should have only got two, but why did I only get two and you got four? You get Sonia Bon Pastor. That's pretty nice, isn't it? She's well good. You got four as well? Why? Ooh, Ludovic Julie. He has the two that we didn't get given. Oh my god. He's actually managed to get Kessler, Julie, and uh, Bon Pastor, and Francescoli, who's not bad as well, to be fair. That's a really good haul for, a, for an error on EA's part. You know what? Either Muller or Dalglish there are both quality. I, I think I would go with Dalglish for the four star, five star. He went with Muller. Fair enough, man. Fair enough. GG's, man. That was nice. There was also a bug if you did it in another language when they re released it. Oh, was it? There you go. There you go. That'll be it then. <sighs> Got to go with Drogba there, haven't you? Mate, two years ago, three years ago. Nah, see, so you take Cantona now, but two years ago, three years ago, Cantona would have been the obvious choice. But these days, I don't think so. Guys, that is the last one for today. Let me know what you got down below. Maybe this guy's going to end us off with another pack as well. He is. See? He's going to send us. He's going to send us, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And for now, guys, I'm out. Peace. Double walkout. Oh, my days. Double walkout, Van Dyke. Who's he got with him? Benzema. No, wait. I'm going to go for like... Who's, oh, it's, oh, my days. The Liverpool pack of dreams.